Okay, uh, in the previous video, we uh, deleted the uh, bottom uh, floor and the uh, two chairs. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. And don't delete anything else. Some of these things, uh, you're better off not moving or touching either. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be using uh, the Place Actor panel to create a floor. Um, so uh, let's do that. Okay, in this uh, first video, we're going to show you how to create the landscape that you'll need uh, to... Uh, basically create a scene uh, for your for your uh, game. So uh, if you're running the latest version, and that's important because it just changed it, you, uh, you, otherwise you'll see it automatically. But what we want to do is go over here on the modes panel, and we're uh, currently working with landscape. So I'm going to click on that, and you're going to see that your whole screen kind of changed, but uh, what we're looking for is this panel right here. And we're going to uh, create a new scene. And uh, what we're going to do is the original is quite big. Probably we want it 31 by 31, which is still quite big, but good enough. Okay. And one by one section. And so what we're basically doing is we're creating uh, the ground. So we had deleted that little box with the two chairs. So now I'm going to click create. So it's going to create just a gray basic background. Uh, so we're going to wait a minute for it to do that. So there you go. So you basically have that. And as you can see, as soon as uh, uh, I uh, let go, this this tool kind of shows up. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to navigate. So I'm going to click back on my place actors. And um, maybe it doesn't matter which one of these. I'm going to just close this one for now, and I'll reopen it in a second. So how do you move around? So I'm going to just show you. Uh, it's the same for any 3D program. Um, if you don't have this, it would be really nice to have mice with a scroll wheel. Okay. And if I scroll up here, you're going to see all my items. Okay. Now maybe uh, you want to uh, select one. So if you scroll out, one of the tricks, if you scroll out really, really far, it's a hotkey is to press the F key and it'll zoom you back in, okay, to, to that item. Now you can always, if you get lost and you're really far away, and you're, oh my God, where did everything go? Click on any one of these in the world outlier, press F and it moves you all the way back. So it's a really quick way to move around, okay? Now, uh, the one thing I always tell my students is Alt is your friend because they always forget about Alt and they're like, oh my God, how does this work? So if I create Alt, and the right mouse key, it also zooms in and out, but a little more fluid. But if I click the uh, left mouse key, I can rotate around and look, okay? Now, if I'm underneath here, it means uh, I'm below, and you want to definitely be above when you're doing your work. So Alt is your friend. And if I press just the, le the uh, left mouse key without the Alt key, it does this, okay? And the other thing that's really useful is pressing down on the... Uh, the scroll wheel and when you do that you can go up and down like this okay so those are really useful and remember alt is your friend and alt left is often one of the things that you use the most when you're creating a scene and uh, if you just click the right mouse button you'll see this i encourage you to do this with your students at first and uh, if you don't have anything selected it still allows you to rotate around the world and I want to remind you, don't delete these things, okay? So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the sculpt. So I'm going to just turn this back on, landscape. And I'm going to show you a couple more hotkeys. So to move around in your world, uh, let me just go back here. So if I click right, mouse button, and click the W key, I move forward. If I click the, the S key and the right mouse, I move back. If I click the A key, I move uh, left. And D key, I move uh, right. If I click the Q key, I'm going to move down. If I click the E key, I'm going to move up. Now you're going to say, wow, it moves fast on it. Why is it not moving fast on mine? It's over here. I usually like, look at what happens if I put it on two. Maybe, so two, look how slow that is. And you got to realize this is a big world. This In a video game, this would be a world that would take you a couple minutes to run around in. So right now I'm clicking the Q key. If I click the W key. You're going to see it move forward. I'm clicking the right mouse button, by the way. Sorry, uh, left mouse button, left mouse button, left mouse button. 
And one of the things that we're going to do to prepare for the next video is I'm going to use uh, Alt and Rotate. And I'm going to now, I'm going to go back to my four. I prefer four. Okay. If you don't have the right speed here, that this is what that is. And I'm going to use the E key and I'm going to scroll all the way out. So what I want to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to do a couple things, but for now, I just want to see this world from all the way at the top and alt and, and you can see it. You want to kind of see the whole thing if you can. All right. So let's start with that. And something important we haven't done yet is saving our world. Okay, so you're going to see this is really important. There's save current, which is fine, but normally that's not everything. So you need to do save current and save all. Okay, if you don't do both, you will lose stuff. Okay, I'll try to repeat this several times. So save current, save all. Now I just want you to know um, that I didn't create a new level because we're just using the basic level that's already included in the starter content. And I'll just show you where it is. So we click on starter content on maps. The one that we're using is minimum default. Okay. Now you could rename this if you want. Uh, if you're kind of new uh, and you, you can call it main default. It's, it's kind of obvious. Okay. I, I would not rename it, but if you're, if you want to, you could. Okay. So I'll stop the video there and we'll continue with the next part. Okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.